Namo Adita Fa. Good morning. Thank you for joining me for our daily practice check-in. Listen, listen, listen. This beautiful sound calls us back to our true home. The second mindfulness training. Aware of the suffering caused by exploitation, social injustice, stealing, and oppression. I vow to cultivate loving kindness and learn ways to work for the well being of people, animals, plants, and minerals. I will practice generosity by sharing my time, energy, and material resources with those who are in real need. I'm determined not to steal and not to possess anything that should belong to others. I will respect the property of others, but I will prevent others from profiting from human suffering or the suffering of other species on earth. For our reading today, we're reading uh, the second half of a selection on When Friendliness Fails by Ajahn Tiradamo from Working with the Five Hindrances. As with the meditations on the unattractive aspects of the body, I would say that we need to be quite careful of our attitude when we develop this meditation. A common tendency is to use friendliness as a support for the self rather than as a means to surrender the self-reference. For example, we may use friendliness as a virtuous spiritual weapon or antidote to cover up the self-supporting habit of ill will. We may sit on our spiritual throne and in our generous high-mindedness radiate friendliness at all the evil in the world, but the self is defended by ill will towards threatening unpleasant experiences. Thus, in order to develop goodwill sincerely, we need to come off the spiritual throne of selfhood and surrender our defensiveness. Rather than nourishing the ego defense of ill will, we open our hearts to the selfless nature of pain. Pain is actually an impersonal causal reaction, not your personal problem. Sorry, you can't even build a self around that one. In fact, the practice is ultimately about giving up our ego preserving habits through a total surrender to the absolute truth of suffering. Energetically, friendliness is a receptive expansiveness. In order to develop it, we need to literally come out of ourselves, to open up to the unpleasant experience as it is, beyond liking or disliking. As we come out of ourselves with friendliness, we surrender our old way of relating to that experience. We, the subject, change the pain, change and pain. The object also changes. If we continue to develop friendliness, the subject-object relationship becomes more rarefied, being replaced by the quality of expansive friendliness until it can ultimately transcend the dualistic subject-object relationship completely. No subject, no object, no self, no other. This is also known as unbounded, unconditional love. Mindfulness says there's some pain there, the self says, yes, but I don't like it. Mindfulness, but it is there. Self, okay, I can acknowledge that. Mindfulness, hey, there's more to this pain than meets the eye, and it's very interesting. Self, really? Mindfulness, yes, take a look. Self, how do I do that? Mindfulness, relax your defensiveness. Be more friendly, and it will start to show itself. Self, hey, it's quite, it is interesting, and this friendliness is not too bad. Actually, it's quite nice. And I noticed that what I thought was painful is not as extreme as I first imagined. At one retreat I gave in Switzerland, a woman was sitting in some sort of hospital chair. I had just arrived at the venue and did not know her or her condition. 
However, after the introductory talk, I asked if there were any questions and she responded quite emotionally, what do you do about pain? She continued, I have osteoporosis and I am in constant pain. I wake in pain, I eat in pain, I go to sleep in pain. Do you have any suggestions about what to do with it? I, I was at first quite taken aback by her emotional confession and perhaps simplistically replied, practice friendliness towards the pain. She aggressively shot back, how can I be friendly to pain? All I could answer was, have you got any choice? At this, she was silent, but looked thoughtful. I think I might have added that the retreat was a good opportunity to give it a try. I was not quite sure how she would respond to this teaching. However, she came to all the sessions and seemed to be quite relaxed and comfortable. By the second day, she was looking quite radiant, so I was curious about her experience. After the evening talk, I asked her how the practice was going. She quite joyfully responded, it works. The pain has not gone away, but now I don't fight it and can be more peaceful with it. May all beings be well. May all beings be happy. May all beings be peaceful. Sadhu, sadhu, sadhu. Thank you for joining me today.